The Tawheed does not mean singularity. Tawheed means a compound unity. Allah no, no, is. No, 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 no. No, because no, otherwise. Singularity. Right, Allah okay. is one. One what? Yeah, what am I saying? Tawheed is, is to, to give things, to, to, to give God things that you don't give anybody else. No, that's not Tawheed. <laughs> the human flesh that God partake of dies. God. Yes. Can God die? God is spirit, God cannot die. God took on human flesh, the human flesh dies. So, what I'm saying is, you are going to be worshipping a shin. Okay. Now, what I'm saying is, is that you will probably say, okay, but that shin is Allah's shin, so it's still Allah. Yes. Right, so you can worship Allah's shin. No, we talk about the most important thing in, in religion. Okay. So, God himself. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Truth, yeah, because God is truth. What about okay. Tawid? Tawid versus Trinity. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no problem. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that one. I wanna... Okay, so is God one? How come, hmm? how come Jesus... Yeah. <laughs> Jesus is God. Yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. is God, yes. Jesus is God, very yeah. good. Yeah. How come he didn't say, I am God? He, he said... He said, I am the first, I'm the last. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. He said he's the first and the last. Yes. Isn't that what Allah says about himself? Okay, but what, <laughs> why he didn't say, I am God? He said he is the first and the last, yes? No problem. Okay, I, no problem. I could okay. say I'm Did the he say first, he was the light? Second, you know. Did, did he say he was the light? I think, I think, I think my, question 14. Is, my, my question is, yeah. why he didn't say Myself. the word God? Why he didn't say the word God? Cut, 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 cut. Okay, we talked about Tawid versus Trinity. So your so I would like to make a case as to why but, but the problem, what is Tawid the problem, and why brother, I didn't I didn't prepare Tawid. I didn't prepare for this but topic. Tawid is very simple I am prepared for, you, for it. This speaker's corner is I I am prepared for, for it. Your life. Ma you make your case Tawid. for Tawid. Yeah. I don't have a case right you now. Your life. What do you understand for Tawid? So uh, teach us what uh, is Tawid? Okay. Tawid? And then we do we do yeah. the other one after? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do both. After. We'll do after. Yeah, yeah. What's the cause why, of Tawid? Why is Tawid? What do Muslims believe? Yeah. What do Muslims believe? Tawid is is to to give things, to, to, to give God things that you don't give anybody else. No, that's not Tawheed. Well, what is Tawheed? If, what would you say about, about Allah? Is Allah many? Allah is, uh, no, he's one. Okay, you, you sound very confused by this. Allah is one, yes? yes yeah. He's definitely one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so does Allah have body parts? We shouldn't talk about that because we, Why? we don't know, you know. Why do you want to make God like oh, you do know, no, you do know. It's in the Quran that he's got body parts. Yeah, yeah, it says, so clearly he has a shin. You know, they say the, la the hand of the law. Does that mean the law have a hand? Yeah, in our, in our scripture, the it's, long it's arm of the Lord of speech, is a figure of speech in our scripture, in Quran, not in your scripture. In the Quran, yes, yes, yes. In the Quran Arabic is like that, you know. No, but in the Quran, 3875, Allah said he created, he created Adam with his hands. Yes, 3875. But, but, for us, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go far, you know. No, but he said no, he created no. him with his hands. Yes, yes. That's God. Quran 3875. But that doesn't necessarily mean an actual hand. No, we no, don't know no, what no, no, because means. elsewhere in the Quran, it's, no, in elsewhere in the Quran, it says that Allah will reveal himself to the Muslims and he, they will, he will reveal his shin to the Muslims and the Muslims will know that that is Allah. That's 6842. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so Allah does have body parts. No, no. I'll, I'll that, grant no. you that they're, oh, you, they're so great and majestic that you don't even know how they are. Yes. I grant that. Yes, yes, yes. But they are in some way body parts. Well, how can I decide? How can I judge? Well, the you Quran know? tells you, yeah? The Quran yes, tells you. That, okay, yeah. okay. If, like I said now, that the law has a, the law has a hand, the hand of the law. Mm. Okay, does the law have a hand? But according to your hadith, Allah has two right hands, does he not? Look. Didn't, did, didn't Jesus oh, say? Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't Jesus say that yeah. there are things that I want to say to you, but you will not understand? Okay, but what's that got to do with Allah having body parts? Because God said it to us, we don't understand it, so we we don't we don't think about yeah, it yeah, too but, much. Yeah, but I do I do believe that there are things that um, Jesus said to the disciples that they didn't fully comprehend at the time. So I don't what, try okay. and say I don't try and what obscure it in mysticism. What, when you say yeah. God has a body part, what okay, do you okay. want to get to? What I want to get to is this: when you think of Tahid, you think of a uh, oneness, but that's not the correct way of looking at it because even in Islam, Allah is a compound unity. He is many things. For example, Allah is His word. Yes. Allah is also his hands, his two right hands. Allah is also his shin. Allah is also his face. So what I'm getting at is this. 
you can worship Allah. You can also worship Allah, Allah's two right hands. Because why? Because those two right hands. You can worship Allah's two right hands. Can you not? Who said that? Think about it. No, you can't. No, no, you can't. No, you can't. But isn't Allah? Doesn't Allah have two right hands? So can't you worship His two right hands? Because they are not Allah. Do you yeah. His hands. We don't believe that God has body parts. God is spirit. Okay, we 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 don't believe also. No, your, your Quran says that Allah has a shin, and He will reveal it to the Muslims on the day of resurrection. So you 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 have to accept the Quran as a body part. Okay, that's what you think. That's what the Quran says. No. That that man just gave you gave us the no, verse, did he think, not? I don't think the Quran says. Oh, that. My friend, I I think you don't know a lot about your religion. Okay, so you know my religion more than me. Well, this is just basic reading. I've read the Quran. I've read and I've seen these parts where it says it. I read hadith. I read hadith where it talks about um, Allah having two right hands. And I und I, I've talked with uh, other Muslims about this in the park, and they have affirmed okay, that yes, okay. in some okay. way he has body even, parts. Even if Allah say that he has a shin, mm. okay, why would you say, okay, yeah, he, what do you think his shin what, like, what, like this, like ours? I don't know, like something like that, it's a, it's a oh, body part. Oh, you don't know, so that's what I was saying, but so it we is don't a, know. No, but you know, you know, the Quran says you will know. So you've seen this, yeah, you will... Yeah, the Dive Judgment, we will see it. You will see a shin. We, I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to say. It says a shin. Yeah, but how, okay. how, how, how listen, listen, you will, you will bow down before the shin when you see it. If you're around on the day of resurrection, Allah will reveal his shin and you will bow down. So what I'm saying is, you are going to be worshipping a shin. Okay. Now, what I'm saying is, is that you will probably say, okay, but that shin is Allah's shin, so it's still Allah. Yes. Right, so you can worship Allah's shin. So if I say to you, can you worship Allah, you'll say yes. If I say to you, can you worship Allah's shin? You would say yes. But Can you, you worship know, Allah's you know, two you know right Allah hands? In the Quran, yes. He said, "Worship me, worship Allah." Right. He doesn't say worship my shin. So but his shin is right. Allah. But, but he didn't say worship. So I don't. Is this I my face? I, is this my face? I don't worship. Is it a part of me? I don't worship his yeah. shin because he didn't say that. No, no. In the Quran, it says that he will reveal his shin, and that Muslims will know by you, receiving his shin. Why do you come to the conclusion that? Oh, yeah. He, God said he has a shin, so I'm going to watch me. Why do you get No, that? no, the Quran says that at, at the day of resurrection, that the, he will reveal his shin to the Muslims and they will eventually acknowledge it as the shin of Allah. You know, you, you, what you say doesn't make any sense. I'm quoting the Quran. I'm quoting the Quran to you, my friend. According friends. to your understanding, you're forcing on us. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, but if I was, listen, listen, listen. If I was in your religion, I would affirm everything but I'm telling you. Do you understand that? I don't, I don't think you understand your religion. I'm not surprised by what you do because you're, you're someone, that's your mentality. You have, a, you have a, an extremist, to read the Quran. extremist mentality. You assume a lot. You, 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 you look at the Bible, you read, oh. me, me and the Father are one, so yeah. that oh, you say, oh. Yeah, so, he says it immediately so, after so saying that he gives God. people eternal so you life. So come, you come to the Quran with the same mentality. No, I read the scripture in its fullness. You have an extremist mentality like ISIS. Are you guys Muslims? Can, can you help him? Because he's having difficulty. What happened? Is, is, there, is there a verse in the Quran that says that Allah has a shin? In some form? Actually, Allah, Allah, Allah whatever, whatever Allah describes himself in the Quran, it's true. he describes him. Okay. But no, no, wait. wait, wait. Okay. But also, Allah also tells us that there is nothing like unto me. Sure, sure. But there is a particular verse in the Quran where it says that Allah has a shin and that he will reveal it to the Muslims the day of resurrection. Yeah, so what? Actually, okay, so, Quran, but so yes, what? that is true. But he Allah doesn't, doesn't even know this. That's what I'm saying. Shin. He said a shin will be revealed. Yes, Allah's shin. No, no, His no. Shin. That's the Quran. The Quran doesn't yes, say. Yes, the Quran does, yes. The Quran said a shin will be revealed. Why, why, why the particular shin. question? He didn't say my shin. So I want to talk about Tahid. And I want to explain to him that although he believes that Allah is one, Allah is not one in just the sense of a singularity, but one in the sense of a compound unity. Because there are many things of Allah. So for example, there is the word of Allah. There is the shin of Allah. There are the two right hands of Allah. Allah has a face according to Hadith. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, is that Tawheed, properly understood, should mean that Allah is one God, but he is one God of many things. Like his shin, his face, his two right hands. His word. That's so what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at. But they're not separate from him. Exactly. That's fine. That's fine. 
very that well. Is, that is the correct way of understanding. Say. I, I, he doesn't very seem good. to get that. You know about so the this hand. is just you me starting off. Hand. You mentioned the hand. Yeah, yeah. The Quran the talk, right talk a lot about his hand. Yeah. In one time he say when, when the Sahaba, when the companions sw shook the hand of the Prophet and swear allegiance to him, Allah say, my hand is above their hand. You know when people like do like this, when they swear allegiance, they do like that. So Allah say, my hand, when they were doing it, was his hand there actually for the Sahaba to see it? No. Listen, I'm not it trying to say. Metaphor. Yeah, yeah. Metaphor, I'm not trying to yes, say metaphor, you can't yeah. use metaphors. Yes. Obviously, metaphors are being so used. So there is no hand. No. As far as we're no, 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 because there are other hadith that makes it clear that he does. Yeah. But this is the when, issue. When, it says when, that, when the uh, companions yeah. were were putting their hands the on metaphor. the hand of the prophet. But oh, the shin is not a metaphor. When Allah said, because you you will perceive it and you will know it. In the now, Quran, now if, I, if if we put if no, we put our hands out there, okay. And Allah said, doing? my hand is on, right. on your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a hand? Only a me and you. Only right. Me and but there you. are clear places in the Quran where it's not a metaphor. If I talk to a Muslims in this park and I ask them about this, they will say it's not a metaphor. They will say it is his shin in a way that we can't fully metaphor, comprehend. Then we should see no. Allah's hand. What is the point you're trying to make? What what I mentioned before. The Tawheed does not mean singularity. Tawheed means a compound unity. Allah no, no, is no, 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 no. because otherwise means singularity. Right. Allah okay. is one. One what? One shin. One entity. Two right That's hands. It. That's it. His face. His word. No. <laughs> See, those are that you. You're not trying to understand what I'm trying to say. Those things are mentioned, but as well we have been told that, that there is one God. There is nothing like Him. Yes, That's, that makes sense. Yeah. So all those things are in that one entity. Mm. There is not separate like Christianity, like no, we don't the think father, it's the we son. don't think it's separate. We think they're inseparable. Okay, is the father one person? Yes. Is the son one person? Yes. Is the Holy Ghost one person? Yes. How many persons there are? There are three persons or hypostasis in the Trinity. So how many gods are there now? There is one God because they all partake in the one divine essence. Okay, is the father God? He partakes, he partakes in the divine essence, yes. Is the son God? He partakes in the divine essence, yeah. So he's a god, yeah? Yeah. Is the Holy Ghost God? They partake in the same divine essence. No, but now there are three gods, my friend. No, you my, say friend, one my god. friend, my friend, my friend. No. Bro, <laughs> look, the Father is one God. Mm. The Father is not the Son. Mm. The Son is not the Holy Ghost. Mm. The Holy Ghost is not the Father. Mm. So when we say this is English language, if we try to understand, the best mode of communication is language. And when we say the Father is one, the Son is one, the Holy Ghost is one. This cannot be one. This is three. You cannot listen, say listen, now me, this is let three. Let me explain this. You what, Christians, say... what Christians believe is there is one God. We affirm Deuteronomy 6.4. I do There's not deny mark. that. Okay, okay. I do let not me, deny let that. Let me explain this to you. So we believe there is three hypostasis. And what that means, is a Greek word, is the very basic thing that makes you you, the thing that instantiates you of a nature, is present in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes? No, but, and okay, they okay. all partake in the same divine... But, 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 find, find that Father, Son and the Holy Spirit in, in Greek mythology. Where did that come from? Where does it come from? Hercules. 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 Oh, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Zeus. There was a Father, Son and the Holy Spirit who were all co-equal and yeah, all partaking in the divine essence equally. No, but you can no. read the history. You can read I've the read the history, my friend. It doesn't you, say what you're saying. Uh, let me it ask you my yeah. question. Isn't it? No, I'm afraid not. Okay. So what happened Sorry? in Council of Nicaea? Yeah, my question is... Refuting Arian. How come Jesus in the Bible... Yeah. Why Jesus didn't say, I am God? Why he didn't use that word? He, he said everything. He said that you should honor the Son the same way you honor the Father. Fine, fine. And that, that was yeah. accused but of being why blasphemy. why did he stop short from using that word? Because Jesus was very clear that there is a time for him to die. He knew when that time was. There are many situations when Jesus said... God dies? No. The human flesh that God partake of dies. God. Yes. Can God die? God is spirit, God cannot die. God took on human flesh, the human flesh died. No, it was Jesus God. Yes, because the okay. divine nature was, Jesus, was enjoined to him. Can God die? Not as spirit, no. As flesh, yes. The, the question is, why? What, now you say he's God. He, yes. ne he never said he's God. So okay, okay, okay. So, why? Why? Right, let's, let's go through this. Why did Jesus say he could give eternal life? I, that's my question. He could say anything. <laughs> Wait, so he said that. What's wrong with you using much. the word God? Huh? What's wrong with using the word God? Because Jesus knew that he has a specific time and hour yeah. that he is works towards. Jesus would get into crowds, he would preach, and then he would leave the crowds early because the hour had not come. This is recorded in the Gospels. Jesus waited until the hour had come and then he started to say, 
more explicitly still what he was said, doing. Still avoided he, the he, word God. He said he gives eternal life. Yes, he, he said he anything. Says, he could say I created. No, no, no. He because, could say I because, created this world. If he but, said if he what? said he was God, they would have thought he's saying he, he's a separate God. Which is why he was very careful so about his language. why you say it? If he didn't say it, why you say it? He said he is one with the Father. He is completely unified with the Father. He is not separate from the Father. He does not come on a separate testimony from the Father. But he did say his testimony is sufficient. Why? Because his testimony and the Father's are the two testimonies he needs. He didn't need anyone else. Yeah, why? Because he is God. So if I say he's not but God, you, I'm He right. could not say that if he wasn't God. No, no. no because men needed two testimony. You could say the father was a testimony, but then you'd have to say, you're my testimony, you're my testimony. You're my testimony. You couldn't say yourself, because that's blasphemy. Every prophet has that testimony. No, they can't recite on their own testimony, can they? It's a link. It's like one message. When his, when they, could, they could talk says, about Yahweh, but they couldn't say, and on my own authority. Jesus could, because he is God, he is divine. You know the Quran the saying to God will ask Jesus on the day of judgment mm. did you say to the people mm. I, that you are a god did they no no it says uh, did uh, i so tell I'm you to take you other now. gods and to I'm take mary as a god christians never took mary as a god if G jesus never said mm. it so mm. why you say it why because wait you even acknowledge it yourself john chapter 20 verse 28 uh, thomas says to jesus my lord and my god and jesus goes now you believe fine <laughs> my question my friend, still it, stands but it really still, still stands, stands. Okay, let's go it again. I, um, want, I want to hear it from his mouth. Mm. Jesus said that you worship the Son God. the same way you worship the Father. Now look, if, if I found oh, wow. the one John that Jesus is the Messiah, ask yeah, it him is. to show him where Jesus says, I am the Messiah in the Quran. Yeah. Show me. God, God said, me, God said no, 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 Jesus. That, that's your criteria. Show him. Where does, this, where does it say you have to pray five times in the Quran? What? Show him. What? That's your criteria. When show him. You mean in the Hadith, back up, yeah? Back up your criteria. Show yeah. him. What I'm well, saying is that you can't just use the Quran alone as a literal when text to God derive your doctrine. When God himself no, says, no, he's no, the Messiah. Jesus, no God. I want okay. Jesus from his own mouth to say, I am the Messiah. And I want, I want show him. God. I know, <laughs> show him. Show him. Show me as well. Show him. The he doesn't know. He, he hasn't got it. We he knows have, it's not there. Strong evidence. No, 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 strong yeah. evidence. He has strong no, evidence. No, no, no. Jesus. 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 In the Quran, no, I'm finished. I'm finished. Said, okay, cool. said that he was also. Whatever, I don't care. He has no answer. Go away. He said that in the Quran. He has yeah. no answer. Uh, sorry. If, if okay, you're young. You're young. <laughs> you're new in Christianity. <laughs> no problem. The Trinity, I'm not new in Christianity. Let me ask you this question. Oh. The Trinity concept. Okay, the Trinity concept, yeah. That. All right, all right, okay. Trinity that, concept. That tree yeah. is in one or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. Didn't Moses know about that? Or wasn't he supposed we to believe know that more than anybody else? We believe that Yahweh has the authority to dictate his I'm nature whenever he wishes. Didn't Moses teach the right. Trinity about the soul, the Holy Spirit? He didn't never mention no, that? No, we believe that it is found in the Old Testament. But just right. because something isn't explicitly mentioned does not mean it's not the case. How many times have I Wait, wait, you, believe you have the same problem. No, with the Quran, no, with the Quran, you claim to affirm no, the Torah and the Injil. Forget Quran. Forget Quran now. I'm what do you mean? About forget the Quran. You can't say some, You can't that. say something no, no, no. that destroys your own religion. No, this concept of Trinity, mm. it was Just never in the old. Can you see how many times? I can't read Arabic, my The friend. Messiah has been mentioned in the Quran. Just the see Messiah. the paragraphs. Does it say Jesus is the Messiah? Yes. Does it say Isa is the Messiah? Yes. Uh, you need to get it in English because I can't read Arabic. Okay. Get it in sure. English. Uh, okay, can you just, I don't want to be on his stupid <laughs> camera. It's small. Okay, listen to me. There is clear, clear, that clear, that clear that let me explain this. Let me explain this. Yeah, there are clear yeah, reasons yeah, no, why no, we no, accept no, the Trinity. Yeah, the early yeah, church fathers taught the Trinity. Paul is the earliest we have of Jesus. Do you understand that? Are you really 10, 20 years? Yes, that is logic. All the past messages. All David. Solomon, yeah. whatever you name it, mm. Moses, yeah. uh, Joseph, like in Genesis, where Yahweh Paul, calls on Isaac, fire from Israel, Yahweh. Abraham, mm. Did they ever mention that there is three? There are Holy they Spirit. They mentioned that there God is a, is a compound unity. That no, there is. No. Yes, they did. When? Genesis one twenty six. Yeah. Let us create. Uh, let us create them in our image. Yes. Our image. It doesn't matter that. How does that prove anything? Because they refer. Because they refer to a plural. This is a plural referring of Yahweh. And in the very next sentence, in the very next verse, one twenty-seven, he refers it in the singular again. He switches between plural and singular. There are clear examples in the Old Testament. His point, though, is a specific thing that says uh, God is split to three or four. We can clearly look at the Old Testament and understand that the Trinity was present. How was that? 
because there are certain cases where there are clear examples of Yahweh referring to himself uh, as another distinct entity from himself. This is in Genesis, right. for example. Yahweh casting down fire from Yahweh is a classic aren't, example. Aren't, aren't they all one, though? So how can God they are all one, to yes. him as another yes. person? That makes yeah. Sense. Another, another, well, no, in, in, Jewish thought, in Jewish thought, there were Jewish sects that believed that the Messiah was divine yeah. and that there was an ancient of days and sex. a son of man. That's and they were both divine. Oh, thank you. Good news of him. As you put your rest. She's the son of him. He will be the son of him. Ah, la, la, la. Look at this. That's interesting. Yeah, nice. Oh, so you didn't find it? What's that? It looks like it, yeah. So you uh, he asked whether, the whether where in the Quran yeah. does uh, it say that the well, Jesus was Jesus the Messiah? Oh, so I said to him, yeah, there yeah. are quite a lot of verses that saying that Jesus was the Messiah. And this is one of them that the angel actually told Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, wait. He meant where the... Jesus say himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't that say. Doesn't yeah. Also, it doesn't even say technically there because no, if I was matter. being pedantic, I could say. No, 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 if I was being pedantic, matter. I could say it doesn't no, actually no, say Jesus no, is the no, Messiah. No, it I says mean, word of a Messiah, what? and then Jesus the next verse. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that we can we can say that if we demand literal proof, so show me where Jesus says in the Quran. No, it doesn't matter. But it's it's not viable, right? Because you would point to verses like this where it clearly says it. That's our point. In the same way, there are clear verses in the Bible where the Trinity is taught. But here it says the God, he says But he doesn't say Jesus' own words. No, no, the Messiah, Jesus, the Son of Mary. Is Jesus speaking? Ah, so Jesus doesn't speak. Do the come out of his own words. Who's higher, God or Jesus? Do you understand the point we're making, though? No, no, you don't want to tell me. Because you know the Quran, where is Jesus? It's good that he is discussing that. And he just found the verse, right? What you we would say is, we would say, because you uh, Muslims can always say, that? where does Jesus say he is can God I in the Bible? That? In his words. And then we go, okay, but we don't need it in his words to be no, able no. to affirm the, tri the, don the doctrine of the Trinity. No, no, but then no. we'll say, just like you don't need it in your Quran no, when no. you say that Jesus in is the Messiah. Is Jesus is the son of Mary. If You're Messiah claiming is the Messiah. a big Right, claim. right. Just like in the Bible, the Bible it says, says Thomas says, um, the Lord can of me and Thomas? the God of me. Who's Thomas? No, listen, that, listen. One of the disciples and eyewitnesses of Jesus. Is that Jesus? People who spoke to Jesus, yeah. Is that Jesus in Tom? No, but but we have Jesus' word saying, now you believe, he affirmed it. So you say, do you understand we can play these games? I mean, I mean, fair, fair enough. Like, yeah, it's just, just a proof of point, okay. that's all it's doing. When you say right. yeah. the Quran, why doesn't Jesus say, I'm the Messiah? I think that's we got past this. No, no. We, no, we're just no, demonstrating no, we're not a point. Past it. I want to clarify it. It's clear. Because he's not, he didn't claim he's God, it's, it's clear that he's the Messiah. But when he says, I'm God, that's a big claim. That's why we need to see him. Yes. We need yes. to hear him say it. There is he never ma many evidence. Agree, he agree, never agree, said it. He did. He said, you should worship the Son as you worship the Father. No, no. That yeah, yeah, he the message, said, he, he the said he's the first and the last. No, no. That's the title of Allah. I think there's a bunch of stuff that look. There's um, of that day and hour, and you nobody knows what uh -huh. even the uh -huh. Father uh -huh. and the Son, only mm -hmm. the Father. Because we believe Jesus was fully a man. But you also saw He's a fully man, yeah, of course. That he's fully God, right? Yes. So how? So he's fully God. Yes. Fully God. Yes. And he doesn't the know spirit the end of time. dwells with him, the divine spirit. Right, yes. right, right. But you believe he's fully God. Yes. He doesn't know the end of time. That makes sense. He's also fully human. Right, but he's fully God as well. Yes. 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 This guy who yes. yes. created yes. everything. A body, a human God body, does he need that? Huh? He's fully God, right? Yeah. If a person is God, mm. he knows everything, right? Yes or no? Not if you're human and limited by human nature. Bro, Do you not understand what I'm saying? You're, 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 you're saying, look at the divine nature. Right, and I'm saying, yes, right, but take Jesus right, as a whole. Right, Stop right. trying to split him up. No, no, no. But, but bro, he's fully God, right? Yes. He's got half God, half man. But he's also he's fully God, nature. Right. But he's fully, no, God. fully man, sorry. Right. Yeah. But he's fully God, though. Yes. God, if the God is full. I can affirm both of these God. things. You're only affirming one. one bro, what? Because you're saying he's fully God, he's fully God, and therefore, according to you, he should know everything. Uh, yes, because he's fully God, bro. But he's also fully man, which means right. he has when to he walk, he has to man. eat. That makes no wait, sense. Wait, wait. Why? Why does it not make God sense? He was a fully Can man. you not have two natures? Can you not have two natures? Fully God. Yes, and fully <laughs> man. Fully God you're not understanding the next bit. Yes, I know what fully man is. Right. Can can men can men know all things? Can men know all things? Right. Can a divine person know all things? I mean, if he's God, yes. Right. Right. So Jesus was Jesus a man. Uh, yes. uh, usually, you, uh, Muslims yeah, jump yeah, at that. Yeah, they go, "Yes." Can I just talk <laughs> so, to you? And hang out? So we know, we believe he was limited in his humanity. He walked among us. He ate among us. Yes. But we also believe that God, who is spirit, was present in him, which is why he is divine. When he's speaking as a godly person and when he's speaking in his true nature, we know this. We we know this because the Bible makes a distinction. So, for example, um, uh, so there's. Uh, in the Gospels, there are accounts when Jesus knew in his spirit, and that's a key phrase there, 
in, uh, in Scripture, it says, in his spirit, he knew that these uh, Pharisees were talking about him. So he knew without hearing them, he knew what they were saying. So, and then he addresses them. Uh, okay. So when in the Bible it says the phrase, in his spirit, that is a reference to his divine nature. Okay, so, and also, there are places, uh, for example, in John, I believe it's John chapter 20 or 21, the, the disciples say to him, now we believe that you knew all things. They now repeatedly then, say that the disciples then. believe that Jesus knew all things. He just already doesn't know the end of time. So how does that make sense? Did, did Jesus so what they're saying is, is that in some way, so he has access to the divine. So, so why in his, God, so why God he say, I know the end Because of there is a distinction Jesus between... In the Quran, yeah. uh, sorry, in the, okay. in the Bible, right? <laughs> nobody knows the end of time <clears throat> except the Father. Most of you know yeah, the Holy yeah, Spirit, yeah. not in the English language. You're referring to Mark 13. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 finish because right. I, I right. cannot talk. I mean, it's um, yeah, always finish. like a short thing. Yeah. So my point is that if he knows everything, right, as yep. the, the, the disciple says, <clears> how doesn't he know the, the end of time? Because there are two natures to this person we call Christ. I know, I know. Fully in his human, human nature, nature in his human nature, does he know everything? No. No, okay. In his divine nature, does he know everything? No, uh, yes. I okay, so there are times when he speaks from his human nature. So how do you know when he's speaking to his human nature? Because the scripture makes a distinction. How? Because it says the expression, in his spirit, he knew what so, the Pharisees were saying of right. him. So every time it says, in, in, yes. in his spirit. Yes, it's a reference to the thing. fact that... Because so he's switching up between God and human. Right? Yes, because the, we believe that God is spirit and it enjoined onto itself the human nature of Christ through the Carnation. I think this makes sense because I took a lot of this. Okay. 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 So, so what we're saying is that in some way, God enjoins onto himself a physical nature. He doesn't change his nature. God is always spirit and he still is spirit, but he is enjoined onto himself the physical nature so through why Jesus. Because the, the, son, not that bad, not the, 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 the son chose to, so in full unity so, with the so Father and Spirit. Different pe people, right? Yeah, the hypostasis, yeah. So it's three gods, not one god? No, they are all so part, in, what, they all partake in the same divine essence. The son chose. Yes. The, Separate thing from the Father and the Spirit. They are distinct, but not separable. Well, so in our doctrine, no in our doctrine, we say that they're one in essence. They all partake in the same divine essence equally, but they are indivisible. So what that means is you cannot take the Father and be like, right, separate him from the Son. But you can't do that. No, 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 no. Be careful there. The Son did not become a human in the sense that he, he no longer remains spirit. The Son enjoined onto himself a human nature. Right, and why? Did the Father and the Holy Spirit as well? Ah, it's up to God, my friend. But He is God. Yes. So how is it up to God and He is God? Bro? What do you mean? What do you mean? If if, if the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, God, but the God is three yes. separate stuff, and the Son. No, I'm not separate. Don't don't say that. Right, we don't believe it's separate. Right, right. You still they're, they're you, you want to divide them? Don't divide fair them. Enough, fair enough. Yeah. All right. And the Son chose to come down. They all so in unity. Is, yeah. Separate now, right? Because he's a human now, why, why the Father? No, 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 you're so understood. Oh, no. They are never separate. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit have never been separate. So why did the Son bow to the Father? Because the Son enjoined a human nature, right. and that human nature is... is, so is, is bow to God. It's that human like nature that. would then pray to God, because it's human nature. But he's God, but he's really God. So no, he's, pray to God. he's fully divine, because the Spirit is with him. So but there's also... It no no, it's not complicated. It's not. Okay. The only people who have difficulties with it are Muslims. The uh, only people. Muslims, Jews, well, we can go on actually, yeah, Well, or Jews depends well. on the Jews you ask. Depends on the Jews you ask. Well, I mean, no, most Jews. Christian, okay, well, yes. well, there are many Jews left in the world. But, <laughs> all right, yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 that does it. Right, um, yeah, yes, okay. Uh, where were we? When he was a human, when he was a human, did he know everything? So, he, uh, don't say knowledge? when he was a human, yeah. when he had he a physical born. nature and joined to him. Yeah. Did he know everything? <coughs> Did he know everything? Did um, he know everything? In his divine nature, yes, but not in his human no, no. nature. In his person, as a human. Yes, but a person can have two natures. Okay, it's in his bodily, human one and a divine one. In his physically, bodily nature. As no, Jesus, his human the, nature, the man. no. As Jesus, the man. Yes, the man, no. Did he know any, everything? No. Did he have to consult this whole the spirit? The divine spirit that was within when, him, yes. When does he consult it? Uh, periodically, at times according to scripture. Yeah. If he does, then he is aware of everything. Yeah, he can, he can refer to things from the spirit which knows all things, yes. So that means he knew everything. No, it means he, he, it means he, Since he could be told things from his divine nature, yes. No, no. So no. is the, the divine nature teaching Well, it comes him? from his own. No, no, no. Can you, it's, it's hard no, to, it's, no, I'm not going to say no, I know no, exactly no, how that works. 
<laughs> okay, I'll just tell you, we'll get to the point that he will get it. When he was a boy, did he get that knowledge from the spirit, the divine nature of the spirit? Did yes. he get the knowledge? Yes. So, he's getting a knowledge from something else, right? But it's, from but, but it's innate with him. How? How? Because it's his divine nature. How? Because God dwells in him in a divine form. So God, he has two natures. No, if God dwells in him, that means he's aware of everything. Because a no, simple fragment human. of God, no, a simple fragment of God would know everything, even because God is all knowing. Can God dwell in you? That's can he dwell a separate, in you? Separate question. You That's separate. No, 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 no. When you say that he is aware of everything when he was a kid, a boy, right? He was aware because he, he's in link with the divine nature. No, we, the we don't. Holy we don't Spirit. say that Jesus is a boy knew everything. Why? Because he he he. Um, he grew in his knowledge, and that's recorded in the he Gospel of He grew in his Jesus. knowledge yeah. as a God? No, because God dwells in him, so he is God, but he has a human nature. That doesn't make sense. Why? What are you talking about? No, can God have a human nature? Can, no, God, can God join to himself? He will never do that. He doesn't need to. No, no, no. He can, but he will never do that. I can talk to that, but he can never do that. He will never do that. Then he's not God. Then he's not God. He doesn't need that. If God can't do it, no, he then he's not need God. That. He doesn't need it. Otherwise, why would he uh, bother sending all those prophets for thousands of years to think that, okay, I'm deciding to come now as a human? I guess it's say the same why? thing about Islam. No, 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 why did Islam, Islam bring all the forget different prophets Islam, and he got corrupt? Yeah, but you're contradicting talking, your own no, no, religion. No, no. I'm talking about, no, we're not. I'm not. I'm going to get back to that afterwards. But let's talk about your doctrine, that Trinity thing. Yes. Okay? Which Paul made up. No. Yeah, yeah, Paul made it up. Paul made it up. You know, before, we get it from the Gospels, there was nothing. Right? Before Paul, there was no hint. We get it from the Gospels. There was, no, there was no hint that Jesus was God. There's we get it from the Gospels. God. There's only one God. We affirm the doctrine of the Trinity from Paul's letters as well, but mostly from the Gospels. From Jesus' words. Tell it to me. Okay, Say so it. in John, yes. John is 